I'd like you to have a look at the slide behind me. It depicts a very ordinary activity, walking. But walking is not an ordinary activity. Mobility is so important that the United Nations has included it in the rights for persons with a disability. It's Article 20. My research is working with a wonderful group of therapists. And with those therapists, I'm working on complex wheelchair seating. Now, complex wheelchair seating is for people who don't have a choice. They have to have a wheelchair. So what the research has shown so far is one, understanding a complex wheelchair seating process, the knowledge is very vague and the understanding in the general community is not really there. Secondly, the therapists who know how to do it, do it really well, but it's tacit knowledge. It's in their head. We had to get it out of the head. So how are we going to do that? What we did is we cre created a new language. So we took the wheelchair and we created two sections. The seating system, the thing that you sit in, and the mobility device, the thing that moves you around. And what we did with the seating system is we created COSA and SCAN. COSA means comfort, orientation, stability and alignment. It's how you want someone to be in the seat. But the way you achieve that is through SCAN. You can support, correct, accommodate or minimise their body structure or movement in that seat. This is really, really important. If you get COSA wrong, you can create pressure sores, which need hospitalisation. You can also give someone pneumonia, because they can swallow food or liquids into their lung. Now with the wheeled mobility, that's a different thing. You've got to understand what the person needs to do. So how do you do that? So we came up with MAPS. So what MAPS is, is their medical needs, their access needs, their activity needs, their psychosocial cultural needs, and the supports that sit around that person. And from that, we can do a couple of things. We can work out if they need a piece of equipment on the wheelchair, like say, oxygen. We can also work out what they do, where they do it, and who they do it with. And that might mean that we can do things like, do they need a manual chair or a powered chair? Do they need someone to help them or not help them? What we're hoping this language will do, it'll enable the therapist to prescribe wheelchairs appropriately. It'll enable us to teach other therapists and it'll enable them to justify that wheelchair to the funding body. So when you walk out of here today, just remember how extraordinary ordinary actually is.